I was born in England uh, and I grew up uh, on the south coast, so 50 miles south of London in a, in a town called Brighton. I went to college in, in England and, and studied mathematics and then when I came out I became a, uh, a farm junkie. I fell into the produce field, and uh, quite literally, pun intended I guess, um, and, and got involved in lettuce growing and ran harvest rigs and all the kind of things you, you're supposed to do when you become a math major. I suppose it's very hard to know exactly when I decided to move to the United States because the decision happened over a really long time. I always knew that I wasn't going to live in England my whole life. It, I always got this sense that, that I, I wanted to try different cultures. I traveled a lot as a child. It was very high tax. I mean, we, have a, we had a long time, two, two extended periods of a socialist government which has led to, to, to a lot of, in theory, good services that ultimately cost a lot of money. And so if you're looking to be very successful, you're looking to work very hard, it's, it's like the law's diminishing returns. You, you, you keep actually earning less and less in reality. And so we just wanted a new start. I wanted a new adventure. And, and so we, we literally decided one day, why not? Let's, let's just give it a go. And, and the process was remarkably quicker than we thought it would be. I, I speak English, and, and as, as do most people in America, and it's the little things. It's funny, when you first come out here, you, I had a job to come to. I was very lucky. I, I had a contact that had gotten me a job in the produce industry here, and I, it should have been simple. I'd, I'd been to the place we were going to live, many times. I knew the area, I knew how to drive around. We had a car here already. My, my wife had kept her college car in storage. Everything should have been simple, but and it was, there was never one thing that was difficult. Everything was slightly different. How, what, what time the stores opened, where you went to get this, how you joined a bank, or, or it was every single part of your life was just a tiny bit different. And then of course you had this delusion of what it was gonna be like because you'd been there on vacation every time. But now you're in a job, and, and at the end of the day, a job's a job, right? You're, you're, you're eight in the morning to six in the evening, and, and suddenly this, this fantasy land, this holiday, crashes down to reality, and you realize it's still a job, and yes, the weather's good outside, but you never go out in it because you're in an office every day. And, and, and as it happened, I somewhat had to trade down my job a touch to, to get a job in the US, so, so I was, I suppose you might argue, a little underemployed for a while until they realized you know, what I could and couldn't do, and then I actually got a promotion, which was great. But, it, it was, I would say the first six months here were a little tougher than I thought they'd be. The way you say water, Americans put a D in the middle, it's water. So every single time for six months I was sitting in a restaurant, what would you like to drink? I'll have some water. Sorry, sorry sir? Water. Sorry? And, and until I finally realized that I had to put a D in the middle and as soon as I started saying water, I was fine. So as I say, it, there was nothing terrible, there, there, was, there was nothing awful. But there was just so many little things I didn't predict. I spend the larger single majority of my time growing produce. Now, the, the, the biggest publication in, in fresh produce in the United States is called The Packer. And recently, a couple of years ago, they voted me as one of the top 25 guys in produce in the United States. So I'm not sure I necessarily grew their assessment as to where I sit in the pecking order. But, but I do think that with the work we do, and we're doing it not for altruistic reasons, but we're getting fresher product to the shelf, we're, we're helping people eat healthier, we're getting the prices down, and in some way that adds value. Um, I'm not selling cigarettes, I'm, I'm selling tomatoes, I'm selling watermelons, and, and so in, in a very little way, I'm involved in something that makes people healthier, makes people better.